Hi, David Jaley here, owner of Good Stewards Productions, specializing in video to help churches and businesses grow. In this video, I want to talk about the next step in recording your services using your own equipment. I call this level three. So if you haven't already, I suggest you go to my website at goodstewardsproductions.com slash churches and watch the three preceding videos called Purchasing Your Own Equipment, Church Equipment Level 1, and Church Equipment Level 2. In this level, you'll see that we build on Level 2 by adding equipment. This obviously adds to the installation costs, but gets the cameras and operators off the floor and out of your aisles. It gets those cameras out of any of your congregation shots as well and allows you to operate with fewer people at each event. This is the method that I've been using since 2005 on a weekly basis. And though I have had help, I have done all the filming alone many, many times and I'm perfectly comfortable doing so. In this level, we'll add the equipment needed to operate the cameras robotically. Now, you could easily do as I was told and just go out and buy robotic HD broadcast quality cameras for 10 or 15,000 each and build a system for about 60 grand. And if you have those funds, I say go for it. And if you do, please contact me because I'd love to come by and visit just to have a look at it all. But this video is for those of you who are like me and didn't have those kind of funds and had to count every penny that was spent. I had to get creative. I had to think outside the box, and I had to put together a system at a fraction of that cost without losing noticeable quality. And here's what I came up with. From level two, we'll need to use different cameras, and we'll no longer need the tripods. We may no longer need the radios to communicate with the camera operators because the camera control will now be done robotically, and they'll be right next to the switcher, or perhaps it'll all be done by the same person. Let me explain the details. The cameras now need to have what is called a LAN control. That's a small jack on the camera that allows us to plug in a wire that runs to the controller to operate the zoom remotely. Since cameras designed for home use don't usually have this, you probably need to be looking at prosumer or even professional cameras. At the time I was looking, the Canon HF G10 seemed to be the best bang for the buck. It's small and light, has a LAN control, delivers excellent quality picture, and does well in low lighting. And the price for that was very reasonable at the time, and I'm sure now you can get it for well under $1,000. I didn't have that much money in my budget at first to buy three of these, so I put that on my wish list, and I bought three standard definition Canon GL1 cameras on eBay for about $500 a piece, just so I could get started. Look for either the standard def Canon GL1 or the G10 on eBay and you may save a lot of money. For the robotic control of the cameras, I would highly recommend the reasonably priced PT5 pan and tilt control from the camera turret company. They also offer the bracket you'll see here to mount it on the wall. The camera turret company has been very helpful to me and they offer a discount to nonprofit organizations as well. You'll find the link to these on my church equipment page and in my newsletter as well. You can see here that this places the cameras out of the way, virtually out of sight, and offers the least amount of intrusion into your worship atmosphere. Again, I don't sell the equipment and I make no money on it, so if you find better, more efficient solutions, please let me know so I can provide updates in my newsletter, which by the way is where you'll find the most recent uh, information on church production. You'll need to connect a wire from that LAN control to a zoom control, uh, which for these cameras I found I could purchase for only about $25 a piece. So take away the pricing from level one and replace it with 900 each for these cameras, uh, unless you, of course you, you purchase them on eBay, about 800 each for the robotics and cables and about $75 for uh, the, the zoom control and cables and add the BMD H ATEMS TV switcher from level two and the TV monitors. And finally, you'll need uh, probably an external hard drive and some other equipment that I'll explain in the next video. The final result is a completely robotic HD system controlling three or more cameras by either one person or three being switched live by that same person or a fourth and recorded to a hard drive and or streaming live to the internet. And you could easily expect to pay 45 to 60 grand for a system like that, but I did it this way for $9,000.
and I bet you can do it for less. This is truly amazing. Oh, and don't throw away those radios from level two just yet. We found that even though we're all sitting together, the radios allow us to communicate with each other at a whisper and not disturb the service. I'm David Jaley from Good Stewards Productions. And if you want more information on how to get your gospel message outside the four walls of your church, then visit my website at goodstewardsproductions.com churches and watch the other free videos I have on this subject. Join my mailing list to receive my newsletters full of tips and the latest information on church production. Now, before we install all this stuff, let's take a, just a moment in the next video to talk about where to locate it all.